how can a loving God send people to hell? Of course, people, people have been asking that for centuries, so I'm not the first person to answer the question, but here's my answer anyway. The first thing that we need to understand is that God made rules, people broke them, and broken rules have consequences. When God made the, the world and he made rules, he promised consequences. He said, if you break the rules, there will be consequences. And the whole idea of sin is the idea that people broke God's rules. At the very beginning, that consequence that God promised was understood as, you will surely die. But as time went on and people, and God gave the Bible and people understood the Bible, that consequence became understood as going to hell. Now, going to hell is more than just physical death, which certainly happens as a result of sin, but it's also spiritual and eternal death. I won't go into detail on what those are. That's a topic for another video, but it's, it's more than just physical death. When Romans 3.23 says that all have sinned, that means that everybody you will ever know, including you, including me, has broken God's rules. Everybody has sinned. And because God warned us ahead of time, he is fair or he is just to send people to hell for breaking his rules. A lot of times when people ask this question, how can God send people to hell, they are forgetting about God's justice. And so all we need to do to answer the question is to remind them, hey, God is also just. Or other times when people are asking this question, they might be setting up what's called a false dilemma. They might be trying to make it sound like God cannot be both just and loving. But if you stop and think about that, that doesn't make sense because in order to have a standard of love, you have to first have a standard of justice. You can't understand God's love without first understanding God's justice. You need an understanding of both. You need both ideas. The first part of Romans 6.23 says that the wages of sin is death. So there's an understanding of God's justice. John 3.16 says that God sent his son into the world that whosoever would believe in him should not perish but have eternal life. So what that means is God sent Jesus to experience the consequences for our sin that we deserve and that people who believe that and live life differently because they believe that Christians will not experience death, but eternal life. They won't experience hell. Instead, they'll experience heaven. That's the experience of God's love. So God's justice for Christians has already been spent on Jesus. So if you believe, if you accept God's gift, if you turn from sin, turn towards God, the only thing left for God to spend on you is not justice, but love. The the second part of Romans 6.23 says, but the gift of God is eternal life. There's your understanding of God's love. You have the two in, the, in, in one verse. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. So all that you need to experience heaven, to experience God's love instead of God's justice, is to believe and accept that gift. But take note, that's another rule. That's the rule. And if you break that one, you're right back where you started as an unbelieving sinner headed to hell. But if you follow that rule, believe in Jesus, believe what God says in the Bible, and turn from sin and turn towards God, then all of your other rule breaking is canceled out. So hopefully you find that helpful. My contact info is below the video. Ask me more questions if you got them.